No timeouts for either team. I like this here. Bob Akron is going to pressure a little bit. Take some time off the shot clock and off the game clock for Kent State. It's into Randall Holt. Back to Perini. Ten seconds to go. Perini hands one off. Blocked inside by Marshall. It's loose. Perini in traffic. That jumper blocked by McNeese. Akron wins. and shoving on the court players and coaches have to be separated after the game's over these two teams almost had an altercation the last time they met in the last regular season game and Kent State's players being ushered off to the locker room by their coaching staff before a fight almost broke out during the postgame handshake See how the altercation may have begun. Akron is celebrating, and Perini is down on the floor. Michael Perini gets caught at the bottom of the Akron celebration. That certainly looks inadvertent. Zatinovich tries to make sure that Perini is okay, and then a couple of Michael Perini's teammates take exception to the fact that he ended up at the bottom of their celebration. Well, after all is said and done, Akron in overtime wins the MAC championship game in total. Akron blocked 13 shots in the game. And the last two, one by Zeke Marshall, one there by Steve McNeese. As Rod Sherman's potential buzzer beater was never released. The Akron Zips are going back to the NCAA tournament for the first time since the 2008-2009 season. They win the MAC title game in overtime by a point. For Stephen Bardo and our entire ESPN2, ESPN2 crew, I'm Bob Bichusen. Coming up, Championship Week presented by Dick Sporting Goods continues with the Big West Tournament. UC Santa Barbara and Long Beach State standing by. This has been an exclusive presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Let's head out to Anaheim.